Hi everyone, welcome to the Gutenberg tutorial series. In this video, I am going to show you how we can design and customize the attractive restaurant menu of the website using Gutenberg. Let's get started. First of all, I have a created blank page here. Let's go to the template library. Let's scroll down and here you find the restaurant menu. As of now, in the free version of the Gutenberg, there are two options now. Let's preview first and see how it looks like. These are the two demo designs. Go back and for now, I am going to insert the second one. Here it is the default design. Update the page and view the page. It looks something like this. Now we are going to make some changes in this design. Go back to the edit page. And the first thing is go to the setting. And in the block section, you have two options, block title and block items. From block title, you can enable and disable the block title. And you can change the text here if you want pricing table and here are options like tag s1 s2 s3 for now i put s2 and in the alignment you can put either right or left for now i put the center and in the enable design options you can remove or put the underline in the style section you can change the color of the heading like so now coming down to the blog items you have got few template options here you can put it and check it for now i stick with this one the second option coming down the price box placement you can put either right or left or bottom for now i put the left one because i have to show the picture of that particular item and you can set the currency from here like rupees or euro or whatever you like for now i set the dollar you can also enable the price quantity here and in the column sections you can put either four or three or two and as always there are titles descriptions and the button option here now let me change the picture first go to the edit image from media library select the picture now i'm going to change color and font of this particular item name go to the style section in the ms box you can set the overlay color here but for now i just keep it off because i don't want to overlay any color on the picture and you can also enable or disable the full width from here and in the amount typography you can change the text color from here but for now i put the white coming down the box background you can change the box background from here generally you set the color as per your company color code or logo according to your branding and from the item title you can set the color from here like so as you can see in the item description you can change the color here to black or the color whatever you like like so and you can also change the button level here and coming back to the advanced section so you can set the background from here overall background but for now i don't want to put the background here so i set the white default one you can set the box shadow from here for now i leave it default once you are set with your design update the page and view the page you see the beautiful pricing table here right this is how you can design the pricing table in the website using gutenberg plugins for more wordpress and the gutenberg tutorials subscribe to our channel I will see you in the next video.